Adventure Seeker. Come on now. That caught a turn. Stay out of trouble. Faster. Answer tape. Don't eat too much. Corbina. You see the white haired fellow. Foreigner. Oh! I shot! I want to fight. Gran, tell me when you're ready. Ready to fight any time, even now. Like to have some words with the Outlander first? It's about my Erica. See her? I... I gotta win today. She's watching. I don't stand a chance against you. I know it well, but I was thinking maybe you'd let me win. All right. We'll do it like this. First fight, I'll take a dive, but then we'll go at it again. Best man wins. Enough of this chatter. Fight! My hand of axe! Keep together! Valgord wins! Thanks. You're good with your hands. Hey, I am. Wonder if he's as strong as he looks. <sighs> Thinking of trying my hand. Soon as you're ready, come forth and speak up. Let's start. Well then, fight! By the rates of Moorhog. Keep together. Ouch. That hurt. Come on, come closer. By the rates of Moorhog. That hurt. Well, come on. Keep together. Glory are his! You've two bouts more before you can challenge for the title of best in Skellige. You've got to defeat Einar, to be found on Pharaoh, and one Grim of Helmstein, a village on Ard Skellig. Good luck to you. <sighs> You're looking ill. Best nurse some mead at the tavern. Aim to return one day. Mm. 
best blades not worth shade of a weak arm it? swinging it. Hey, who's that? I heard great things about your son's future. Aye, threw his umbilical in the water, and it coiled into the shape of a snake. I'm looking for men from Hundvik. You've oars from the isle, and I once cut those waters with nary a rest. Could trace you the shoreline in my sleep. Uh, a lovely excursion, if not for the bloody sirens. I'm the one to ask. Me or excellent Tadarok. He's over there. What can a bloke from Art Skellig know about Hundvik? Heard you trilling a different tune when Yalmar was gathering his crew. Your love for the Ancrate fade that quick. Ah, that doesn't matter, darn dire. Yavar's from there, or so he claims. And you seem to know these waters. Why didn't you sail with Yalmar? Because that kind of expedition needs a true leader. And a whelp looking to collect bumps on his skull could only be its doom. Once I... You'd rather sit in your arse nose in the air, you Zerakinian princess. Brave lad comes along. You sail with him. I'd have sailed with Yalmar if only those seahorse hadn't banjaxed my knee. Would have sailed instead of sharing a table with a grumpy barnacle like you. You'd sail with anyone who'd let you aboard, Crack's daughter included. You mentioned sirens. Many on Undvik? So, so many. More on the other as. Bollocks. Once they attacked Lars and me when we were fishing. Before we could drive him off, they pulled Lars in the water and scratched me up so bad that... Oi! Drive away the sirens? How's that work? Ha! <laughs> Plain to see you're no islander, with a horn wall's horn. One toot, and they plow and scurry off so quick the waves rock your boat. Need to get to Undvik. Ugh, another thrill seeker. Well then, listen close, lest you end in a watery grave. Sail out of port and head southwest. Watch for rocks protruding like pricks out of the water. You'll have to do some tricky tacking to get past them. Some of them's shorter, just below the surface, so careful not to scrape right over them. They breach your hull, you're done for, cause just a few minutes in that icy water makes a corpse. One time I remember- Stick to the point. Uh, oh, fine. Watch for the currents, cause they can drag you off course, dash against the rocks even. With a bit of luck, you'll land on the same beach where Jalmar landed. Nice talking to you, but time I was on my way. So long. Fair winds to you. I Foreigner, watch Is your step. You're a witch, right? What became of those nice barrel lights you wear? You've come a long way. Come on now.
Let's go! Get him! Giant tracks. I long to be home to be the mother's of I long, I long to be home to the modest abode Whose corners I roamed To my da with his pipe To my two boys my I know that song. What are you doing here? Look, man. Another one. And so many times I've told him. What's that you say, Wilfred? I, right you are. They never learn. At least this one heard a song before he died. Who were these men? 
My crew? They swore never to leave me. Kept their word. Tall one's Wilmar, Wilfred's to his right, and the lad with the stutters, Wilhelm. Why do you and your crew stay? We cannot leave. If we ventured it again, the giant would kill us all. Like he did the others. Why'd the giant spare you? Me and my crew and the sirens. We're helping him build a longship. I sew the sails and run away at times, and then the sirens fly out and bring me back. Why does he need a ship? Where does he want to go? Promise not to tell no one. I trust my men to take the secret to their graves. But you... Promise, won't tell anyone. Fine then. The giant's going to sail her out to defeat the gods come Ragnarog. The final battle for the world's end. She'll soon be ready. Not much game here, but I saw the giant give you food. Where's he get it? Don't know, don't ask. Food suits me. Suits my crew. Over there, on the ground. Hands got bite marks on it. What? Where? Well, Mark, damn it. You're supposed to clean up. Couldn't keep a secret if your life depended on it. We had a choice. The Hatters starved to death. And I didn't force anyone. You know, whole crew voted in favor. I'm looking for Hjalmar on crate. Word is he came to this isle with a crew, aimed to defeat the giant. Oh, oh, aye, saw him, as did Wilmar. Sure it was him? Wilmar's got eyes like a hawk. They stood where you stand now. Poor sheep they were in, neath the red, fallen Viggy. And just between you and me, that boy is not quite right in the head. Oh, the young on Crete was here too. Remember when this was? When what was? When Hjalmar on Crete was here with his men. Oh, that? No, I don't remember. You might ask Wilhelm, though. They say where they were headed? Did they, Wilmar? Oh, hey, aim to make camp in the old guard tower. <laughs> Easy enough to find. Stands in the middle of a valley, guarding absolutely nothing. Try to come back for you once I've found Hjalmar. <laughs> Sound awfully sure you'll find him? Maybe you can kill the giant while you're at it, all on your own. They're the same to a man, aren't they, Wilhelm? All think themselves immortal. Gotta go. So long. Hey, if you really aim to return, mind bring me some solid twine. You're like to find it in the village. And nails. We're short on nails. Can you remember that? Nails and twine. I'll remember. dragged a litter through here. Come on.
Yalmar's encampment. They were attacked. Broken back. As if he fell from a height. Many wounds. Must have fought for a long time. Taken by surprise, but they fought off the attack. I need more clues. Two people came through perimeter. here. Separately. These tracks are older. Somebody left the camp before the attack. Several men dragged a boat north. smack in a Necker's lair and cut the beast down. Hardy folk, these Skelligers. Went this way. Didn't come back for his arrows. Shot him as he fled. Necker slowed the pursuer. Lost a lot of blood. Couldn't have gone much further. Lost a lot of blood. Couldn't have gone much further.
archer finally caught up to him. Now where'd that archer go? He's still alive. Archer was wounded too. In something? Huh? Cookie. Hey, you there! Help me! Water's getting hot! Ah! Ah! 
Shattered. I need that man. No! We win human from mirrors. I figure riddle. <laughs> Play me for the man, then. If I win, I take him with me. If I lose, I'll jump in the pot, too. Good! Good! Time <laughs> <laughs> riddles! No! No bubble! First riddle. Lots eat, lots drink. Big E, B. Step Big E. Big he bash! A troll, of course. Uh, good troll. Now you ask. I'm light as a feather, but even a troll can't hold me for long. <laughs> Manage. Let's get out of here. You all right? Ugh. Never go in a sauna again, long as I live. Other than that, I think I'm fine. You saved my life. How can I thank you? I'm looking for Hjalmar. Hjalmar? Curious where he is myself. Him and the whole crew. Something must have happened. Otherwise he'd have come looking for me after I went missing that night. I know he would have. Wait now. Why are you looking for Hjalmar? The expedition. Tell me about it. Started like the best ballads, with a hearty storm, sail whipped about like a rag, finally caught sight of shore, but then sirens attacked, as if they'd just been biding their time. But we'd have come through somehow, I know it, if not for the bloody helmsman. Helmsman made a mistake? I'd say his ma made the mistake. Birth them arseways or something. Dim that one. Heard tales and was so afeard of sirens he stuffed wax in his ears. Failed to hear our warning calls. Steered us right into the rocks. Lost a few men. Had to drag the wounded on litters. And the sirens pestered us the whole while. Yalmar kept blowing his horn. But we'd come too close to the hillside and he brought an avalanche down on us. Not your lucky day it seems. What happened next? We found that daft bugger in the ship, then pitched camp near the guard tower. Things seemed to calm. Croc sent me here to find Yalmar. New King will soon be chosen on Ard Skellig. Everybody's waiting for the young on Crate's return. So it started already. Yalmar, ruler of all Skellige. Doubt he's cut out for it. Yalmar's irresponsible, stubborn, and heeds no counsel. But he's a born leader. Been mates since we were lads. With him and Ceres. Ceres has put forth her claim to the throne as well. Ceres? But she's... Well, she's... Like father, like daughter. What about Krach? He support her? He let her set off on some daft quest. Wasn't thrilled. Especially since Ceres set out without telling him. Nor did she tell me. Where'd she go? Who'd she take with her? Speaker Og. And no one. She went alone? Damn the dogs! If Yalmar'd only... 
I should come back, do you know? Hadn't returned when I left Ard Skellig. Any idea where Yelmar thought he might find the giant? We'd learned where it has its lair, in the caves above the village. Yalmar decided the best way there would be to cross the lake. Viggy the loon insisted he knew a better way, through the mines. But none of us fancied strolling into a monster pit. How'd you get separated from the others? <clears throat> Had the watch for the night. Saw Egnar of Pharaoh steal Yalmar's hornwall horn. One he uses to drive away sirens. Bugger snuck out of camp. I followed him. No idea what got into that ginger head of his. Told Yalmar not to take him with us a thousand times at least. And? You catch up to him? Aye. In these caves. Bastard screeched so loud he drew the trolls. Thought the buggers would eat me right then. Dropped me in a marinade instead. Decided I was ready to cook today. Would have been the end of me if not for you. Think I know enough. So long. Wait. I'll go with you. Luckily the trolls didn't use my bow for kindling. Good. Let's go. Know the Isle well? I've never been here before. Guess you could say I've never been fond of Clan Tortorok. In fact, no one in Ard Skellig's especially fond of them. You claim Ard Skelligers don't like the people of Unvik, yet you helped them after the giant attacked. When you save a drowning man in a storm, do you ask what clan he's from first? Point taken, I guess. But your people gave them shelter, and now you've come to kill the giant. Of course we've come. Winning back Unvik's the best way to get those folk off Ard Skellig. Any clan out there Ard Skelligers are friendly with? Well, certainly wouldn't be those Brockvar cowards. They'll say it ain't so. But a hundred years back there, Jarl walked them off the battlefield just because the enemy showed in greater numbers. And Pharaoh folk are cheats and thieves. Everyone knows it. The Twirsek of Ann Skellig always been too big for their britches. Now, madman Lugus's clan. They're all right. Funny. Thought they were your greatest enemies. They are. But we just can't respect the other clans. Let's get going.
Yalmar's man. Bled to death while trying to escape. Wonder what happened to his cohorts. Signs of a battle. They ran toward the caves. Someone tripped and fell, but managed to get away. Another track. Blood trail leads to the cave. Hmm. Definitely came through here. Stench. We went flying. Fought to the bitter end. Thorsten. Sliced her up. Two men, looks like. Rest of the crew went on. Wonder how many were left. Yalmar lost a lot of men here. Arvid and Tordorach. He was dead set on coming with us. caved in. Not 
not your lucky day. Shot half a quiver into her. Two.
Oh, gods. Near twenty of them. But no Yalmar. Show me a pantry and I'll show you the mice. Went this way. Lots of old tracks. Giant must have come through here often. Need to find another way. Giant came down the mountain, barged into the village, then kicked the gate down from the inside. Fallen? I was sure you died. Where have you been? Ceres has gone to Speakerog. Alone. Couldn't wait. No. Had to sneak off, as if you were afraid of someone would steal the giant out from under you. Ceres? She staked a claim to the throne then? And you'd have rather gone with her? I'd have liked to have the choice. Wait! Still need to thank you, Geralt of Rivia. I'll never forget you came to my aid. You know me? Our bards sing ballads about you. And my father told me of your adventures when I was a lad. <laughs> I remember it well. You needn't be a witcher to be a hero. Cold water and a salty breeze. Those are a Skellige lad's potions. So that ballad about the witcher and the sorceress? That's you? Yeah. Where's the rest of your crew? Good question. Fought our way through a swarm of sirens to get here. Only a handful of us left after the battle on the lake. Good thing you showed up when you did. Cause Leif's wounds need tending. Those bitches tore him up good. But I suppose if it had all gone smoothly, 
Would have made for a dreadfully short ballad about our heroic adventure. Seems more doomed than heroic to me. No. That's just the gods looking to see what metal we're made of. They'll soon get their answer. <sighs> Your father sent me to find you. I have a giant to defeat. Head home soon as I've done that. Gotta help Leif first. Leif's dead. What? Nah, he's just unconscious. Lost a bit of blood. He's dead. Trust me. Swore he'd sink his blade into the giant's heart. Swore it on the bones of his ancestors. Coming with me? Stupid question. Join us, Geralt. Hurry now! Pick up the pace! See your rare to go? I'm telling you! Plow an enormous horse, son, he is! Wonderful. Can't believe I finally got the bastard! Yeah. Geralt, help me smash that! We're sure to reach the giant's cave this way! I cover you. Position myself so as to keep the giant in sight. now. One odd step and you could wake him. Hey, quick! Let me out before he wakes! Key should be around here somewhere. Wait. Know what they call Viggy? The loon. For good reason, too. Best he stay in there till we finish with the giant. What? You out of your bloody mind, Uncrate? I thought he was your comrade. He is. Which is how I know what he's like to do. Let's free him. Giant's pretty big, looks pretty mean. We could use an extra blade. Even one swung by a madman? I heard that on crit! Let me out right now! Wait here. I'll look for the key. Shut your trap! Thanks, brother. I remember that. Right. Just as soon as I kill him. Yeah. <laughs> 
I knew we'd best him. Viggy, you daft bastard. <laughs> Where are the others? Thanks for your help, White Wolf. Geralt the Giant Slayer. I'll make sure the Skald said it in song. Yalmar the Giant Slayer sounds better. It was your venture. You deserve the glory. Hmm. Believe you're right. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Let's go. Gonna head back to Hard Skellig? Aye. After all, I'm to be crowned. I killed a giant, won back Onvik, and lost my entire crew. Mayhaps should have set out alone. Like Ceres. Regret ever setting out on this expedition? What's the matter now? Giant's dead, and the folk of Onvik can go home. And Ceres? She back yet? Hadn't returned when I left Ardskellig. Went to speak a rogue, you say? Venture she aims to face whatever slowly killing Udelric. Some say Udelric's the god's chosen one. They also say the gods are merciful. Witcher? Uh, I'm sure Ceres would be glad to see me, but you wouldn't happen to be heading to speak a rogue. Don't know yet. Your father asked me to, but what if I help her and she wins? And they crown her Queen of Skellige. <laughs> you help me too. Let's call it even in the odds. I'll leave the rest for the gods to decide. Thought you didn't fully trust them. Willing to give them one last chance? So long, Witcher. Hmm. So long, Ancrate. <laughs> <laughs> 